let's do a quarter hunt today. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure. And if you watched one of my last videos when I was bank hopping around trying to build a box of quarters and dimes, this is that box of quarters. So I ran around to about eight Chase Banks and uh, cashed in $100 at every single one of them and got a mixture of dimes and quarters. So I've built a quarter box and a dime box. And today we're going to go through the quarter box. Now, obviously we'll state the obvious. We've got customer rolls, we've got machine wrap rolls, so I'm kind of curious to see how it goes. The fun thing about this hunt is about every seven or eight rolls is a different bank. So if I get into a streak where I'm not finding anything, I'm not going to assume it's from the same customer because it's several different banks. So that's kind of cool. We could get lucky. The unfortunate thing, though, is if I get on a hot streak, I only picked up seven or eight rolls. So And I won't really know which bank they were from at this point. So we're kind of out of a loss there. That's the negative. Some of the things we're gonna be looking for today is obviously silver. We're looking for anything that's silver. The quarters from 1964 and older are 90% silver, so that's a good score. We're also gonna be looking for some clad quarters. Special note is the 83 Philadelphia and Denver mints. They're really hard to get in mint state, and if you can find an 83 P or D quarter in mint state, it fetches a pretty penny from 10 to 50 bucks roughly. That being said, you really wanna pull out any quarter you find in mint state since they're going to fetch about three or four times their face value regardless if you can find them in a mint state 63 or 65. Hard to find quarters. They're heavily handled, heavily circulated in mint state, but still we'll be looking for them. And then finally, I always double check a couple of the state quarters for varieties. There's a lot of varieties, but of note is the 2004 D Wisconsin. There's a high leaf and a low leaf variety and those fetch really good amounts, especially if they're better than an AU 50. We're also going to be looking for the Minnesota State Quarter because technically there is an extra tree in there. Uh, the value is not as much as the Wisconsin State Quarter uh, air variety, but we're still going to be looking for that. At the end of the day, I haven't ever scored out of 11 boxes. I've never scored a silver quarter. So we're hoping to find one today. That being said, let's kick it off with this roll. And as always... I'll loop you in if I find something great. We're on a customer wrapped roll, guys, and uh, no silver, but uh, looks like there's a nickel in there. 2015. We might have been shorted a quarter. Oh well, let's keep looking. I know the camera angle's weird, guys, but I needed to uh, film this, and I couldn't hold and do what I wanted to do with one hand on the camera and one hand on the quarters. But we're on the 21st roll of customer wrapped rolls and um, got something that looks a little suspicious there. It doesn't have the silver quarter look, but it does look silvery. I'm going to point to it in case you can't see it. It's right here. So before I get heartbroken or completely excited, I want to do a live test with you guys. We haven't taken a look yet. I just splayed the quarters into my hand, tightened them up, saw it, put the camera down, started recording. Got a magnet here. So the test is that we're gonna run the magnet across the quarters. If it's a foreign, it's not made out of a, uh, out of copper alloy. It's made out of something more magnetic, which means it's a foreign. Let's see what happens. Up. Uh, Well, there you have it, everyone. 2016 Canadian quarter. We'll take it. It's the first find of the box that's uh, worth mentioning. The hunt continues. All right, guys, we're halfway through the box, and we've got four of the machine uh, rolled uh, rolls taken care of, as well as the 21 customer wrapped rolls. Not much to show for it. We found a 2015 nickel. A Canadian 2016 and three pretty nice coins that's a 2007 a 1995 and a 1978 I wanted to show you that I don't find too many 2004 D Wisconsin state quarters to go through but we looked at those three and there's no higher low leaf halfway through the box 
Let's get back to the hunt. Whole roll of quarters from different years look like they've been machine washed or treated some way. They're in terrible conditions and it doesn't even matter what year they are. Here's a 65, terrible condition. 2013, same problem. 1999, same problem. I'll save you the agony, but geez, it's weird to see a whole machine wrapped roll with all the quarters the same way. Makes me a little nervous about which bank I got this at. Holy cow, those are terrible. All right, let's get back to the hunt. Yep, it looks like we got a uh, batch of quarters that were mistreated. We'll run through them and hope that that's only seven or eight of those rolls at the most. All right, guys, it ended up being seven rolls that were just absolute trash. I didn't even sort through those last three. There's no need. If I would have found something, it would have been worth nothing by the condition anyway. Definitely wasn't silver, so we knew that. Look at how beat the heck they are. I was able to tell by the ends which ones were which. Looks like these are in better shape, so let's get back to the real hunt. All right, guys, we're on roll number, what is that, 42? And we got our first find of the box, really our first real find. It's in terrible condition, but look at this. It's a proof. It is a quarter proof. Not in great shape at all. Oh, and it's a it's a Wisconsin proof. 2004 Wisconsin. Again, terrible shape. But it is my first quarter proof I've ever found. That's a little exciting. Because now that we found a proof, maybe there's something more in this box. This one looks a little suspicious. Just a little satiny finish, but we're gonna get back to the hunt and maybe there's something else in these rolls now that we found a proof. You find a proof, you never know what else you could get. I'm a little excited. Probably won't find much, but fingers are crossed. Let's keep looking. Well guys, another box of quarters down. It's 12 that I've hunted. I still didn't get a silver. But you know what? We got some uh, consolation prizes here. 1965, kind of crazy edged coin. I pulled it out just because whoever did that, I kind of like it. Found a nickel in the box. A Canadian and a 2004 proof. Lighting's not going to get it perfectly. There you go. Three coins that I consider worthy of at least a second look. This 07 is pretty nice. 95 has got a couple of scratches. And for a 78, you know what? It's not a bad coin. It's not great either. This box had a lot of bad coins in it. Um, we did look at five total 2004 D Wisconsin's. None of them have the high or low leaf. I'm not going to give up on quarters, but man, it's becoming increasingly more difficult for me to find silver quarters in circulation. So I asked the question, are you finding them? Anyway, I still hope you enjoyed the hunt with me. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.